Silent Hero Films, Silent Hero Films. Click the link below, man. And thank you guys um, for the support and, and the purchase of the film. It means a lot. Independent project, all with my own money. No loan guy, no bank, no silent investors, no no hedge fund, nothing. Um, so thank you guys in advance. I want to talk about something which is important and which ultimately I, I've lived my life by. Hard work plus intelligence. Is what? I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were, because they were there. I seen them. I seen them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Good evening, messenger. Allahu Akbar, Allahu. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Defeats everything. And I know you got people who are going to side on politics, who's going to side on racism, who's going to side on side on where you're from. But Shakari Richardson is an example of what a lack of discipline and a lack of hard work looks like when you just have God given talent and you and you just baby it, nurture it just a little bit versus 2023. Now she owns it. Uh, she's seen more discipline, more focus. Um, and it's, it's just a testament. So it trumps everything. And it's I because the Internet is full of excuses. The Internet will give you so many excuses you need. Oh, uh, um, take a, uh, take a day off. You deserve it. Self-heal day. Um, uh, self-love day. Um, you know, uh, go eat that food. You know, it's the internet is, is both the angel on one side and the devil on the other depending on where you are in your life. And I'm here to tell you guys, I don't know where you are in your life. Discipline and work ethic, put them together and you will get the results you want. But Fred, I'm black. I have no money. There are ways you can make money in this world without a boss. Instacart, Uber, you know, so many of them now. I mean, it's too many to name, you know. Um, and you got to be judicious. You got to do your homework. It, it just doesn't fall in your lap. You just don't sit and wait for it. You go create it. Because if someone said, I'm going to give you a million dollars, you got to show up at eight o'clock. You're going to show up at eight o'clock. That's the same thing. You got to go get it. You have to show up for yourself. Stop showing up for someone else's name. Show up for your name. And I know it sounds weird to, to, to some people hearing this, but everything you get out of life is everything you put in for the most part. Oh, Fred, there's racism in the world. Well, if there's racism in the world, create your own. Oh, I can't create my own. Uh, why you can't? <laughs> why you can't create your own, man? You know, uh, it's, it's, it's really that simple in terms of what you need, matriculating through it. You're going to have rough patches. You're going to have good patches. But the internet will give you too many excuses, man. I've seen it, man. Oh, man. It's it's Trump's fault. It's Joe Biden's fault. It's Black Girl Magic fault. It's the Proud Boys fault. It's, it's uh, BLM's fault. At the end of all of that, all those talking points. What did you do in your silent moments? Did you go read the book? 
Did you use YouTube to get the information? It's on you, man. There's... It's... It's like... The man that's 10 pounds overweight that goes and buys a larger shirt. Like, in my community, where I grew up in, the men just buy pro clubs. They just buy larger pro clubs. They go from a large to an extra large to a 2X to a 3X to a 4X, and now they're wearing a dress. I'm telling you, man, that's, that, that, that's typically what they do. They don't address the issue. There's no racism in losing weight. It's not McDonald's fault. I don't care what ethnicity you are. It's not the black man's fault. It's not the white man's fault that you're overweight. And why do I associate that with success? Because no matter what's going on in my life, I'm about to walk in the gym right now. You can always find success in exercising. If you exercise every day, you'll find success. You got to find something in life where you can have success every day. It's like you want a fixed income and you go to Starbucks every day. I don't understand how people will live in paycheck to paycheck and spend $70 at Starbucks a week. Intelligence and work ethic. You put them together, you get the results you want. But this, but that, but this, but that. Nah. So this is a message of love. Don't go buy an extra shirt. Get out of that Starbucks drive through line. Stop blaming Joe Biden. Stop blaming uh, Donald Trump. Stop blaming the Proud Boys. Stop blaming BLM. Oh, snap. What is a coyote doing in the middle of the city? Oh, no, it's a dog. I thought it was a coyote. But, yeah, man, it's um, it's on you, man. And you can get it done. I don't want to say, hey, I'm going to live an example of that because people see it as, a, as arrogance. But the reality is it's on you, man. I wish you well. Instead of making a list of excuses, make a list of assets. Make a list of assets that can get you to where you where you need to be. Be a great father. Be a great human being. Live in truth. Social media currencies, you don't need them. Nah, you don't need them. They come naturally anyway. I wish you well, work ethic, and discipline. Don't go buy that 2X Pro Club. No. You got high blood pressure. You got hypertension. This ain't just, I don't care what ethnicity you are. Be the change. Y'all have a beautiful day. Don't forget, Silent Hero Films. Click the link below. I truly appreciate y'all. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.